Hi guys, it's Real Combat Airsoft here again with a review of the um, UK Arms Scorpion. Um, now, when you get this gun, I did an unboxing on it. This charging handle is not, it comes out. You just screw it and. Wait a second. Give me a second. Here we go. It comes out, I guess, you know. Don't really know why. And then you stick it in, you know, and just screw it in. There we go. Slide it in until it's about a quarter of an inch. And then you just finish screwing it in. And don't go too tight because you don't want to break it. There we go. It's pretty secure. Alright, now. I don't want to say it has a plastic shell. It, the wood looks real on it, but it isn't. Um, the stock, the the folding stock, it is um, plastic uh, metal. So, so, take some. It comes with like one like real cap magazine. You know, you hold down there and then you shake it. No winding. Um, it's spring powered. It's made by UK Arms, it's their Scorpion, um, if you want to go, and you know, it has a folding stock, you know, if you want to go Call of Duty Black Ops style, without grip it looks like this, with grip it looks like this, so, um, I haven't chronoed it yet, I got it today, but, um, I would say 320, I could be horribly wrong, I could be exactly right, uh, that's a look. If you're using the sights, that's all. That's all you really look at. Nothing really there. Um, the magazine loads into the bottom. The magazine. The magazine can hold quite a few, you know. You load the BBs through right there, the pellets. And um, the mag release is right there. I really like this gun. Like, if you've been watching some of my other videos, I'm going to SS Airsoft in Atlanta. Because I'm used to Combat City, but I'm going to SS. Never been there before, but I'm going to try it out. I'm, this is probably going to be used there, maybe as my secondary, maybe as my primary, I don't know. I've, I'm bringing a... I'll have a layout video the night before I go, and an update, I guess. But, um... It's, um... I'm doing it... I will have an my other unboxing from Air Rattle coming up. Um, I'm... Not really sure what's going on. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, I've got. Sorry. All right. This is probably going to be my. Um, I'm probably going to bring this or carry it as a secondary or maybe even my primary at one point because I'm bringing my FAMOS, my Cybergun FAMOS, um, spring powered, and I'm bringing my uh, Galaxy MP5, which is an AEG. But in case my battery dies, and I don't know if they charge it there or not, I'll bring my own charger just in case, but maybe a few rounds while it's charging, I'll actually have to rely on this, my AEG, and, you know, some of my other pistols, you know. Um, but up to that, this gun's pretty well, I mean, it's pretty good. I got it at the flea market. Um, it works pretty good. I'll, uh... I guess I have a shooting test of it up one day. So if you want it really bad, just send me a message saying, hey, I want to see it. Where is it? But um, pretty much that's it. This orange tip, you can, uh, if you really want to, you can tape it, uh, I mean, paint it black all the way up to here because all you really need is about that much to show legally. Um, like I said, the charging handle comes out. It's only on one side. It isn't on the other side, like on the real one. It's got that, that the breach or whatever doesn't open. But it still looks pretty cool. I wanted this because I like Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, <laughs> if you look at my activity, it's like all I do. And, um, yeah, it says UK Arms on the side, made in China. And, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. I saw that they made a silver version of it, but, um, I wanted the black one. I didn't really see the silver one. I may have. I just didn't get it. I wanted the black one. And, um, yeah, so if you see it, I would buy it. I recommend it. It's pretty well. 
uh, plastic shell, but you know, metal, inside's all metal. Spring, of course, is metal, but um, yeah, if you see it, I'd buy it. It's pretty good. I like it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that nice, fun stuff. Share. Don't repost, but if you think it sucked, give it a dislike, but if you think it was great, give it a like, and uh, bye.